American agriculture has another history maker and hero, one that's alive today. This son of the heartland grew up on a humble Iowa farm. The lessons he learned there would one day help him develop agricultural practices that are still changing the way the world is fed. Today, he's credited with saving more than a billion lives. Jason Schultz found him near his Iowa home. The peacefulness on the rolling farmland of northeastern Iowa doesn't get interrupted much. The wind whistling through the weeds, and today, the sound of busloads of visitors. This is the boyhood home of Dr. Norman Borlaug. For me, it's a, it's a privilege to, to be here. This is the place where Borlaug learned the fundamentals of how farming can change the nation and the world. As a young man, the impact of the Great Depression on farmers shaped his beliefs on farming and the food supply. So some of the best farmers, I saw them ruined. And then the situation got worse and people with their hands out, not 10 or 100 or 1,000, but untold thousands, asking for a nickel to buy bread. After earning his PhD in plant pathology, Dr. Borlaug began doing agricultural research in Mexico in the 1940s. Farmers there had been facing serious problems with disease. He said, we got problems. Come with us, we want to take you to the old parts of Mexico. Borlaug developed wheat plants that were resistant to disease and introduced new methods that eventually turned Mexico into a wheat exporter. But population around the globe was exploding and farming practices were not keeping up. Borlaug spent the 1960s developing high yield wheat plants in India and Pakistan. That's where he met Leon Hesser working for the U.S. government. And uh, with his, with Norman Borlaug's technology, uh, we doubled our wheat production in Pakistan in four years. Borlaug is credited with saving more than a billion people around the globe with his new agricultural technologies. He won a Nobel Peace Prize in 1970 for his efforts, and he's been called the father of the Green Revolution that improved farming methods worldwide. Where there's human misery based on hunger and lack of medical care, and lack of education, which affects population growth, uh, there's bound to be social and political chaos. He's much better known in India, Pakistan, Mexico, uh, many other countries uh, than he is in the United States. Well, you know, in Cameroon, the world is very, very, very well known. There's a program there we uh, call Food for Progress. And that program is based on the Tobolo research. There'd be millions of people dead. There would be millions more suffering of uh, hunger and malnutrition and, uh, and, and poverty, extreme poverty. He lifted whole generations out of spare subsistence farming. Dr. Norman Borlaug's legacy doesn't just carry on in agricultural fields of developing nations. Every year, scientists from around the globe converge on a chilly Des Moines, Iowa to attend the annual World Food Prize created by Dr. Norman Borlaug. Considered by many to be the Nobel Prize of Agricultural Research, the award is given out each year to people credited with improving the quality, quantity, and availability of food in the world. Population is going to close to double on our planet between now and 2050 or 2060s. 6.3 billion people on the planet now. It could go up as high as 10 billion by that time. Where's the food going to come from? It has to be produced. And so we have to have another green revolution, a sustainable green revolution. If there is to be another so-called green revolution, this very well could be the place that it originates. Besides the annual award ceremony, a symposium gathers world leaders in food production research. Ideas for shaping world food production are exchanged, with Dr. Borlaug overseeing the proceedings. The general public in the affluent nations, they don't have much idea of the, the conditions in the uh, food short developing nation. 
the constant undernutrition shortage of food sometimes being pushed over into epidemics of starvation. I think the values that he used to talk about at this little 160-acre farm, I think he realized that on down the road, someday there'd be a shortage of, of land and even water. At the World Food Prize, Norman Borlaug is treated like a rock star, and for good reason, few can claim to have saved more than a billion people. Uh, he has uh, had a tremendous impact on the world food situation, and uh, more than any other person in history. Not bad for a farm boy from Iowa.